So let's take a look yeah, at you that. You can see right there, there it's a, a transition. You have uh, Justin Brownlee getting Jason Castro there. Okay, so it, this is a quick recognition on the part of TNT. When when Jason Castro saw Brownlee was in front of him, and then he saw LA guarding Pogoy. Pogoy also recognizing that height advantage, he went straight to the post. And so everybody else was spacing the floor. We had Terrence, Terrence Jones spacing the floor on top. And then, of course, with this mismatch, they were looking for us to help defensively. And when the help came, Greg went there. Look at Rosario underneath. He went behind the, defen the defender, and then Scotty was just late on rotating on the backside, and that resulted in those two points. So those are the quick recognitions um, that uh, TNT saw in that particular play. Obviously, because of that coming in transition, uh, you guys were not able to get the matchups that you would have preferred. But then when caught in a situation like that, we saw you screaming on the sideline. How do you correct that to make sure that those types of mismatches, though exploited, are defended well? Well, usually you have a scheme already. When you have mismatches like that, you already have a scheme uh, within your team. And when the double comes, the weak side uh, defenders need to be alert in rotating to the open man and so that there won't be confusion defensively. That time, because it was fast, it was quick, it was coming from transition, um, and of course, communication was very important. So once a doubler is coming, he should, he should yell, I'm doubling, I'm doubling, and that would um, signal the other guys on the weak side to drop down defensively and cover up the open spaces. So, you know, that's something that you, you drill in practice, and you can't just go into the game and uh, just tell the players to do it. That, that's uh, a product of uh, practice. But, you know, in a game, sometimes there will be breakdowns. And unfortunately for us, those were some uh, breakdowns that we encountered in that game. Well, we saw the mismatches there, but was that because offensively they sought out those mismatches, or was that just a result of the fact that it came in transition? Well, it, it was actually really uh, a part of the game plan, okay? So we really had Justin on, uh, on Jason Castro. And whenever you had Pogoy posting up, it meant that Pogoy was not, would not shoot the three. We're in, in, in that game. Of course, he shot, still shot the lights out. But, you know, you have to pick your poison. Okay, so we wanted to limit uh, Jason Castro and, and their ball screens. Um, and whenever Terrence Jones could, uh, would, would set a ball screen for Castro, we can switch that one and you know, not really allow them to penetrate inside. But, of course, you need to help on the post once Pogoy gets into the post. So you have a double teaming uh, scheme, but everybody needs to be on the same page and react right away. So that's what happened in that game.